Well, you see, the, the, in very, very simple terms, you ask yourself how many people does it take to change a light bulb, and we all know the answer. Um, I don't know any decisions that are better made because 65 people make them. That's the average number of people on an English local authority, incidentally. Uh, you know, there is no merit in assuming that, you know, government by committee works, whether it worked in a private sector where you never see it, or, or in the public sector where for some reason we've been wedded to it for such a long time. What we've seen in London is that an elected mayor actually has the ability to galvanize the city, to be able to react to all the institutions of the city, not just directly controlled, but even those indirectly influenced by the mayor, to give the city a real sense of direction. I can promise you this, if we had not had an elected mayor, London would never have won the Olympic Games. In Manchester, where we're filming this, you know, they know a bit about winning these great international sporting events. In London, 33 individual boroughs God bless them, lots of them are conservative, I love them all, would not even have got around to agreeing the agenda, never mind agreeing to go into the games and really put a festival forward. That was what we could do with an elected mayor. It's one example, but it's the most obvious example of how an elected mayor galvanizes the whole city.